Okay, good morning, everybody. Um, who here is a front end developer? Just show of hands. All right, and who here works on the back end? Fantastic. Now, who of you would classify yourself as DevOps engineers? Fantastic. Well, today I'm going to be elaborating upon a model around which you can all collaborate and prepare your web applications for the increasing unpredictability and the demands that your users are putting on your web applications. Because as uncertainty and unpredictability increase in the way that your, your users are accessing your web application, we need to move past mere infrastructure automation and move more towards a self-adaptive and autonomous infrastructure. At the core, web performance equals cloud performance. So throughout your infrastructure and across your application, your web performance is all dependent upon things like latency, CPU utilization, network bandwidth, things like this. But simple models like this one are rapidly being replaced by models like this. We have firmly moved into the era of highly dynamic, heterogeneous clouds. Thanks to the plethora of infrastructure providers out there, our web applications now span across different vendors and also across the globe. You're servicing millions of users in an increasingly unpredictable manner that is an increasing engagement on your web applications. They're driven by everything from Black Friday sales to tweets from Beyonce. All of these factors combine to create a system of infinite variability. Frankly, it's just too complex a system to be managed by us mere humans. For example, this is the 2012 Summer Olympics over in London, and their website was to enable customers to purchase tickets. It's a very predictable event. Apparently, it was unpredictable behavior from their users because this crashed with just 10, 000, uh, tens of thousands of users using it. Another very predictable event was the rollout of healthcare.gov. This infamously went down when millions of users tried to use that application to get healthcare coverage. And I've got to be honest with you, I kind of miss this guy. It takes me back a little while. But the point is, they actually got this right. They actually uh, looked beyond relying upon DevOps engineers, duct tape and bailing wire to manage and bring to life a spluttering system at 3 o'clock in the morning. The point is, is that we cannot just be relying on human operators to operate our infrastructure. We need to build these self-adaptive, autonomous clouds. So what exactly is a self-adaptive, autonomous system? Well, first of all, we need to be collecting all of the data around the system that we're actually operating. And then we need to analyze that data to understand patterns about how it's actually behaving. Then upon that analysis, we make a decision about what we're going to do, because then we need to act. We need to do something. And then once you've performed that action, you're then collecting more data, and the system repeats itself. For the cloud, it looks something like this. So your monitoring system is collecting data in real time through your application and across your infrastructure. You then have a very scalable data store and a front-end processing engine that is checking that data for things like reliability, checking against basic policy engines, or looking at particular types of behavior models that you're expecting to see. Data science really comes into play here because you're constantly running algorithms that is trying to draw conclusions and make decisions about what to actually do based upon the data that your monitoring system has brought in. Then a signal goes out to your orchestration system, and your orchestration system is then scaling up or scaling down your infrastructure, adapting your cloud autonomously according to the behavior that your monitoring system has already detected. Seems pretty simple. So bottom line is, web performance equals cloud performance. In an era of infinite variability, we no longer can rely on human controllers to be in the system managing our infrastructure. We need to be building self-adaptive, autonomous infrastructure in a closed feedback loop. And if you have any questions, go up to one of those people that had their hands up when they said they were a DevOps engineer and have a chat with them. Okay, thank you.